You took everything out of here without even telling me? I thought you'd be happy. How could you do this? But you kept saying... She was my daughter, too! And this was my daughter's nursery! How could you take everything out of here without saying anything to me, Adrian? God, all this time I've been tiptoeing around you and doing everything in my power to make sure that you get through this and you haven't even thought about me for one minute! Not one minute! And now you do this? How could you? Ben, I'm sorry. I didn't realize... Where's Mr. Bear? Who? My bear. Where's my bear? I don't know. Grace was helping me pack and... My mother gave that bear to me. It's the only thing I have left from her. Where's my bear? I guess it's with the other stuff. I, I guess it's at the church nursery. I... You are so selfish. Do you know that? I never even wanted to marry you. I never even wanted to have sex with you in the first place. Every single bit of pain that both of us have had has been because of you. Because of you! And I can't take it anymore! I can't take it. I know I'm supposed to be the man. I'm not supposed to cry, but I don't care. Losing that baby, it killed something in me, Adrian. It killed my belief that something good could come from the bad thing we did. It was a bad thing, cheating on Amy and Ricky. And we deserve to lose that baby. At least I did anyway. Because Amy loved me, and I threw it all away for one night with you. And I still feel guilty about that. Who's on his way over here? Oh, God. I'm sorry, but I live here. I couldn't help but hear you coming down the stairs. New boyfriend, huh? If you say a word to Madison or to your new friend Grant or to anybody, anybody, I will... Grace, stop. I'm not going to say anything to anyone, but I can't wait to meet him. So you cheated, huh? Hmm. See, it's easier than you thought, isn't it? I used to be like that, but then I met someone I really loved. <laughs> You'd cheat with me if I let you. Actually, I, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah? To believe in someone, to learn from someone, to love someone. Amy Jurgens has taught me what I just couldn't grasp for so many years and never got from any book or in any classroom, and that's this. I am capable of loving someone, and I am capable of being loved. And now tonight, for the first time maybe, I don't feel isolated from the rest of you or from the rest of the world. I feel part of you. And I feel that you are all part of my life. And together, we can really make a difference. Amy, would you mind coming up here? Amy Jordans, will you marry me? You can't get over? Yes, she is. Do it. You sure? Yeah, absolutely sure. Okay. People are gonna talk. Let them talk. I'm gonna stay forward. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. Heard you wanted something from me. Yeah? What's that? Heard you wanted one last kiss. And what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I never thought I would be, but I'm free. <laughs> I'm free of you. <laughs> you were right. You had to kiss me again? I didn't have to, but... But obviously you did. Let's go, Daniel. Good night. Wait, what is wrong with you? It was totally disrespectful. Disrespectful of me and yourself. I saw you with that witch last night. Looks like she really put a spell on you. 
jealous? Do you think there's anything to that kissing thing? Like how Adrian kissed Ricky? Do you think she could really tell that it was over? I don't know. Could you kiss me again? Wow. Goodbye, Omar. Uh, let's try that again. I have no family. I have no friends. No best friend. No boyfriend. It's, I give up, okay? I give up. I'm not meant to be a sinner. Just forgive me, Lord. I have ruined my life with sex. I could have been somebody. I could have. I could have been a contender. Guys used to fall over themselves just looking at me in the hallway. I was like, was like the it girl of Grant High. I was the hot virgin that everyone wanted to have sex with. And then I had sex, and now, now I'm just like every other girl in school. I made my whole life about boys and sex, and and then and then and then I kissed Adrian. God, how could I kiss Adrian? How could I ask her to kiss me? She's my best friend. Now I just now I just don't have a best friend. I'm just a giant loser. Because sex made me a giant loser. I don't want to be a giant loser. I want to. I don't want to have sex anymore. I, from this point forward, I, I'm not going to have sex anymore. For God is my witness, I am never going to have sex again until I'm married. And this time, I mean it. Okay, I, I really, I really mean it this time. You know, when you asked me for a ride this morning, and all the way here, we talked about how great Doctor Fields is. Yeah. You didn't see Doctor Fields. Grace called me looking for you. Oh. Oh? You shot George Jurgens? I missed. Why can you not accept that you need help? Why can't anyone accept the fact that I don't need help when I got all the help I need in Jesus Christ our Lord? I'm fine. And I don't want to talk to a shrink who doesn't even believe in God. How do you know? All right, let me ask you something. Um, do you think your dad stopped each of the surgeons going into the operating room to ask them if they were Christians or not? Or do you think that your dad didn't care if they were Christians because he just wanted to get the best help that he could get for you no matter what religion they were? I don't know. Yes, you do. You know. Look, Jack, you got your physical health covered. You got help with that. And you've definitely got your spiritual health covered. How about you get your mental health covered? I don't believe in mental health. Huh? There's no such thing as mental health. There's no mental, it's intangible. I have a brain, and my brain is fine. Okay, I, I get the logic, but how about this? How about love is intangible? You believe in love, don't you? Love is real, isn't it? Jack, Grace loves you. Your mom and dad love you. Your friends love you. Get some help. I mean, what are you so afraid of? It's over? The lie is over. Are we over? Why do you want to know? Got any plans to travel anytime soon? You opened that invitation to tour the school in New York, didn't you? Yeah, and I intend to open everything that comes from that school. It is a federal offense to open up someone else's mail. I mean, arrested. Until you start telling me the truth, I'm opening the mail that comes from Hudson University. I'm not going, all right? You're not going to school there, or you're not going to go tour the campus? Why not? We're not married, Amy. We're not even pretend married. And you know what? Give me back that wedding ring. I want to give it back to my mother. Okay, forget it. I'll tell her we want to use them for the next wedding. No. Here, take it. No, you keep it. It's all right. Ricky, I want to get married. You want to go to school in New York? Yeah, kind of. No, no, I don't. I do not want to go to school in New York. But you want to go tour the school in New York? Would it hurt? Oh, my God, Amy. Give me the ring. Give it. I'm trying. I just can't get it off. I have to go if I'm going to get in to see Leo before school. Then go. For you. <sighs> Maybe I didn't ask you the right way before, but I'm asking you now. Will you marry me? Uh, you know what? I think I will. Yes. Really? Yeah. Open the box. <laughs> Open the box! Oh, it's beautiful. Well, I've pretty much been in pain for the last four years, so why would today be any different? <laughs>
High school was not kind to you either. Well, here's hoping that college will be better. So, do you think that college will be better? For me, I mean? I hope so, Ben. Are you gonna marry Ricky? Because living over you and Ricky could bring me to a new depth of unhappiness, which could have been my dad's plan all along to keep me at home. The wedding is tomorrow. Are you sure? Yeah. We can go to the party if you want. No, I don't want. I'm just saying. No, I just want to go home, I think. It's your graduation. We went to a party after my graduation. No, we didn't go together. We just ended up together. Yeah, we did, didn't we? I just really want to go home. Are you going to speak to Adrian before she goes? Bye, Grace. Stay in touch, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> All right. Bye, Ben. I hope you'll be very happy. Okay, bye. Please don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Oh my God, I mean, don't be mad at you. And it's angry, by the way, not mad, angry! Okay. Don't be angry with me. I am angry with you, and I have a good reason to be angry with you! You can't do this! You can't! Um, no. I can. And I have to. I have to call it off, Ricky. I can't go through with it. You're insane. I've given you every opportunity to get out of this wedding, and you insisted, you insisted we go through with it. We're gonna go through with it. I'm gonna make you go through with it. <sighs> what am I saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna go through with it because you don't wanna go through with it. And you know what? Neither do I. <sighs> I, I hate you. You're gonna be like that? And I hate you too. What do you hate me for? Hmm? I changed my whole life for you. I'm a great guy. I don't cheat on you. I take care of you and John and I'm responsible and- You're not in love with me. If that's what you're going to say, you were not in love with me. I love you, Amy. I know that you love me, Ricky. But you weren't in love with me. You're just marrying me because of John. What difference does that make? All the difference in the world.